Hello. You have to forgive the budget sign there. It's early days yet. Um, Chris again. Um, Real Air in 140 from Twitter. Um, I always said I'd do the video log blogs uh, infrequently, but um, I just happen to have come across something rather special again. Uh, it's beer, as you'd expect. It's an IPA, but it's come an awful long way. This beer is from Brooklyn in New York. It's a Bengali Tiger, and it's their take on an IPA. Um, and I'm quite excited about this because I generally have liked the American IPAs that I've tried. I'd, I'd like that New World Hoppy style. Um, there's always a place in my heart for the standard English IPA, but these big hoppy beers from America, something special generally. Um, well, what can I say? Something you'll have spotted um, is in a can. Uh, that scares me slightly, uh, although I'm assured that it will probably be alright. Um, I don't know if you can pick up much on that. Bengali Tiger. Um, on the back, we've got What a Mortal Hand or Eye Could Frame Thy Fearful Symmetry. Um, where the pronunciation was a bit cockeyed, but that's Wordsworth for you. Um, it says it strides forwards with a multi cadence, then leaps with a wave of bitterness, slashed with a giant pool of citrus, pine and resin. Uh, note the lacing of stripes around the glass, it's the mark of a tiger. Um, yes, tigers, tigers are the ones with stripes, so that all, that all works. Um, so, um, comes in at 6.4 ABV, um, and like I said, it's from, from Brooklyn. Um, does say that this may impair my ability to drive a car or operate machinery, so I won't be doing that immediately after this. Um, I'm going to crack this open now. Oh, there it is there. Tiny explosion over my hand. And what's it like in the pour? Yeah, it comes out red as if it's really relaxed. It's going to leave me with a nice head, I think. Yeah, that's interesting. It's come out with a head like that, which I wouldn't have expected with a can. So good times. Um, looking at the head, it's not a head that is just oh little plop there. So it's not too thick a head, but it's thick enough to give some stick on your fingers. Um, Mm. So I'm going to sniff it. Now, what did that give me? I'm picking up the piney, the piney smell that you often get with American IPAs. Um, I'm thinking Sierra Nevada Torpedo. If you haven't tried that, try it, please do. Um, but it has that very piney thing on the nose. Um, nice colour there. It's probably, and I don't know if you'll get that in this light. Um, let me just pop a torch up by it. There you go. Um, so it's an orangey, close to amber uh, style IPA. I can't wait any longer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. Cheers. a lot to take in there. I think the overwhelming thing for me is is the same as you get from the nose. I'll try that again. It, it's the pininess. It's the pininess that you get from these new world beers. Um, pretty, pretty good stuff. Um, there's a. Oh, I'll try that again. I'll pick 
picking up some very tart orange in there. Um, there's quite a quite a malty hit as well. Uh, quite a sweet sweet malt, I, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. Excuse me. Um, That's interesting. The pine doesn't kick back as much as it does with the, the torpedo. Um, mm. It's bitter. It is bitter. There's not much. It's not giving much quarter um, in terms of bitterness. I like that. I like it. It keeps giving on the hop. Um, the citrus, the orange, and the malt are kind of there in the background more for me. Uh, this is this is really impressive stuff. I've never managed to get anything like this out of a tin before. I mean, my experience of tin beer is is mainly related to kind of not a continental lager at best, um, at worst, you know, Orangi Boom, um, brewed under license. What else does the tin tell us? Um, so this is, this beer is dry hopped, fresh hops. Doesn't say what the hops are. Um, you can check them out on Facebook Facebook com slash six point. They're quite an interesting um, take on their website as well, which uh, isn't listed on here. But the the website is um, I think it's six point brewery.com but the website is set up in a kind of an old-fashioned way and it's very much just about information about the beer so it's just it's a nice take on things there's no funny animations or you know, small gifts doing stuff um, but they're, they're clearly enthusiastic and knowledgeable about their beer um, now I am told there's not many of these around in the country um, which is a crying shame really I mean it's interesting I don't know if the canning process means that it lasts a bit longer. It's very clearly travelled well. Right? It's come what two or three thousand miles across the Atlantic from Brooklyn in New York. Um, I'll probably be corrected by some of my colonial chums about the Brooklyn is New York or whether it should be classed as somewhere different, but I don't really care at the moment. Um, <clears throat> so a nice one pint can of what is. Mm. Mm. An enormous hoppy delight. This is this is excellent stuff. Like I say, given that given that it's come so far and been stored in in this way, I think that's brilliant. Um, where would I want this? This is a beer, at 6.4%, probably too big for me to session, although if no, somebody didn't tell me it was 6.4%, I would happily dash a couple of these back on a hot day, looking over the sea, maybe with uh, some spicy prawn shrimp type stuff going on, that would be great. Um, so that's your place, that's your activity. <coughs> Excuse me. Now for the rating. Uh, in the grand old world of hops, for me the the piney hop, and I'm not sure which one it is that, that's used, the, the, the hop that gives that massive piney hit isn't the king of the hop world. Um, so. I've gone higher with other big hoppy beers before. Um, you've seen me do that on, on the Real Ale Guide, so please do tune into him. Because he'll have a take on this, and he's had thousands of hits on his review of this. So, see what he has to say. I do like it, it's lovely. I'm going to go with just a shade under 9. So 8.7, somewhere around that mark. Um, 
really good, really impressive. Um, give it a go if you can get hold of it. I certainly hope that they start exporting it. I would happily pay twice the price of you know a kind of lager pop nonsense if I could see a four pack of this somewhere in the UK. Um, so if you're watching Brooklyn Brewery, please take note of that. We like this and this stuff in the UK. Please send us some. It would be a bit like the old uh, give us the tools and we'll finish the job of the lend lease scheme. We need your help, Uncle Sam. Anyway, enough for me. Cheers.